Hello, and welcome back to the crossover. This is your narrator, Phoenix Wright, coming to you live to let you know that we are now off for our merry little reunion uh, with Labyrinth. Uh, puzzle solving will continue until morale improves. Stop spinning me! No, it's funny. <laughs> See, Maya knows what's and up. He's like, whoa, my hat's spinning! What a wild ride. Ah. <laughs> uh. I would think I would think Barney the dinosaur is still funny. Hey, 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 hey. Show that dinosaur respect. He educated a ton of kids back in the day. And apparently frightened I, just as much. Yeah, by, yeah, by scaring them. <laughs> and God, that redesign of Barney is god awful. Uh I don't really care. Let's get to the next epilogue episodes. The kids of our future deserve better. Bit better than Barney at all, to be honest. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I mean, we can't talk considering this country had Mr. Bobby. And Peppa Pig. It's a turning London part two. But before we go back to Labyrinthia, let us check the. uh. pleasant area of London. Interesting zoom out. Wow! It's been ages since we were last year, Professor. Shame we couldn't come when it was daytime. Oh, I think I remember this place. Isn't this... That's right. Uh, you didn't say anything, though. Uh, but uh, anyway, this is where we came right after you were assassinated by witches. In fact, this is where our investigations began. Right before we got sucked into a book. There seem to be a lot of people around, given the time of day. Welcome to London, Mr. Wright. I've seen a bunch of other people wearing top hats just like you, Professor. Has there... Has there been some kind of English top hat revival? Uh, I see. Also, go to Royal Ask go to Royal Ascot. You'll see plenty of top hats there. Also, Layton, has anyone ever told you that you have the same hairdo as Gumshoe under that hat? Not a note. Huh. Perhaps there was a wedding. Uh, at any rate, I thought I'd introduce you to some places related to last year's incident. Ah. Basically, Java, you're saying that he has Xbox 360 protagonist there. <laughs> With the spikes and everything at the end. Well, that sounds like fun. Right, Nick? Well then, without any further ado, shall we make our way to the next location? But Mr. Nick didn't even get to say anything. I'm used it's to it. It's bloody freezing point. here. Mr. Wright was here. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is where we ran into the <coughs> Great Witch, isn't it? Oh my great bitch. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Eve was on top form that night, wasn't she? They were kidnapped! We still have to understand how they perform their magic tricks. So. It's all water. Don't even worry bridge, about it. No. Actually, kidnapped. You said it. That scene was super intense. My eyes were totally glued to the screen. Ma what, Maya? Maya? Maya! Uh, what was the line that. Uh, and then, the cr and then, and then just... a crack on the fourth wall. <laughs> Next stop is a famous London park. Oh, your your top DS the screen place. just cracks. Oh, you mean the park where Carmine and I were trying to escape from the witches in his car? It's like that's that dialogue that MGS2. You will read the rice that he put close to the TV. What are you talking about? That must be where that crazy crash happened, right? After that, Carmine took his leave for the rest of the game. Yes, for all I knew, he was, good as, he was as good as dead. If we're lucky, the park should still be open at this time. There's something I'd like to show you all, but I'd rather go on ahead and get it ready. Look, that pose you do, is your, is your hat stuck to your head too? Oh. Hey, check it out. That's the walled-in puzzle. If you solve this puzzle, you get to enter the spooky secret room, the back rooms. Ah, yes, it was terrifying there. 
Ah, yes. That puzzle was a little arduous, as I recall. Moving all those heavy blocks around was quite the physical so challenge. It's not actually a presentation, but they're actually doing it physically? Yes. There's a bit of a crowd around it, so I'm not sure we can get much closer. It seems everyone uh, is, this is a enjoying Kingdom Hearts this world. Sites. I don't really see much people around. The light yes. is the word is here. Yep, tons of top hats here too. Can't even see the pattern on the wall. Well, from what I've been seeing lately, I think those uh, top hat, that top hat craze has kind of died off as of late in mystery journey. Not to worry. Let's head towards the park instead. I'd say even another... by the time of Lethal Brothers. Although none of the mysterious accidents has been cleared away. There's nothing particularly eye-catching about it. I'll, I'll leave you to a secret. The protagonist of Lethal Brothers doesn't even wear a hat. Well, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are, well, that's the thing. Uh, I mean, uh, um, just because you're a Brit doesn't mean you're forced to wear a top hat. Oh my god! This entire the, family should wear top hat. Why have... Are you kidding me? Honestly, that's pretty true to uh, this country's form. Yeah, we're not gonna clean this up for, like, years. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Whoa, no kidding. I didn't know cars could fly like that. Um... Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Yeah. Please don't sue us. Too I was easy. thinking of City City Bam Bang instead, but I guess. Uh... Cool. Anyway, maybe I'm. This is most peculiar. I'm quite certain that accidentally had already been cleared away, Wait. along with the accident as well. You mean just the accident, Leighton? Well, first well, of both. Of them. He oh, was both actually both cleared, cleared away. away. He's in the hospital. What brings you here this morning? Evening. Evening. Sorry, it's hard to tell in this weather. <laughs> Look, it's hard, to it's hard to tell in this town, okay? Well, if it isn't Inspector Shelby. Shall I? Wow, thanks, Inspector Shelby. Pleased to meet you, sir. I can't imagine what you're all doing here. That mysterious incident has long since been cleared up. Then why does he have the it? Car There's a whole honking tree. car in that tree! With the headlights on, no less! Look, 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 I solved these crimes. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on. <laughs> if that car's have... But there would be something rather out of place up in that tree, would there not? Wait, how is that car's battery still running after a year or two if those headlights are on? I want those wow. batteries. Well, needless to say, Scotland Yard has no intention of divulging any such information to the likes of you. So we we'll have to get it out of You just haven't cleaned it up yet, have you? Da 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 da. Um. What is that face, this fella? Then again, I suppose it can't hurt to fill you in on the basics. Did they just intimidate him into giving info? That vehicle is what you might call a game set piece, a tourist attraction. There you go, see? Uh -huh. having, having a car in your tree brings tourism. Game set piece? All also, right. Spella was about to break some kneecaps. Alright, class, it's time for video game development class. On account of your game being such a big hit, of course. Overseas! Not so much in Japan, sadly. How flattering, I guess. Ever since your little collaboration was released, this right here has become a popular spot amongst fans. That's right, we're essentially the game equivalent to movie stars now. Tour guides are dressing up as the main characters and leading fans around on tours of the city. They call this thing cosplay. Oh, so that's why I saw those people in blue suits and spiked wigs. And that's why I saw people uh, getting the dimensions of my hat rock. Also, no, Phoenix, those are the audience going to see the Minion Soul movie. No! Hey, I'm seeing so many top hats around this evening. Do not uh, associate me with anything Illumination, please, Italian, sir. Alright, <laughs> spot on, Lighten. Believe it or not, those people are dressing up as you. Really? One of them, one of them, got, my, one of them got my coat wrong. How intriguing. I imagine I'm also like a fan as well. You Imagine impersonating okay. myself. Layden, Layden, we're not going to give you a puzzle to prove you're your real self. Say, what about the car up there? 
Was that reconstructed for the tour? Hmm. As I said before, Scotland Yard has no intention of averaging any information on the matter. Not That's the action. Alright, I guess it's my turn to get him to crack. Use your back at Starting context. Sir, would you like to lose your kneecap privileges? He's <laughs> sucking at it as well. <laughs> Well, I suppose just a little scrap of info is only fair. Wow, that was easier than I thought. Even Gumshoe doesn't give info that easily. That vehicle is what you might call the main tourist magnet of this whole bleeding park. Tourist magnet? Yes. You heard me right. They felt something really memorable was needed at the end of the tour, see? Mm -hmm. And here is the scene of where a man was nearly killed by a giant statue. The so some guy's bar decided they'd call on a bit of audience participation to recreate the accident as the tour's grand finale. But then again, we, um, we, cele we celebrate a day where we celebrate a day where we followed the plot to nearly... The, the, government nearly got blown up, so... Yeah. Wait, recreate the accident? As in, hey, Sorry. let's throw this con to a tree again, recreate? No way. I tell you, some of these games fans are brave as a bobby. First, they drive along a predetermined course. Wait, what? Late on cart when? Is that a common on visual novel genres? Then that stone statue over there gets up and chucks the vehicle and its occupants up into that tree. As precisely as possible. Are they there safety measures for this? Christ, England, what is wrong with you? We like a bit of danger. I was kind of hoping you'd say something a little more reassuring, like with flawless precision! <laughs> Is there something in the water here, too? Hey, what's the hey, 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 how? Can you believe vehicle was thrown into the tree just a moment ago? Yeah, how could. Mr. Wright, how could. Mr. Wright, how could. How could you possibly say you've lived if you haven't experienced any danger? Oh, here we go. I'm astonished that such a plan could manage to obtain approval. With your government? Well, Are you surprised? Uh, well, you know Londoners. They're all daredevils at heart. It's pretty popular with the folk over at Scotland Yard, too. Oh so... my god, even the police! Yeah, next morning, yeah, we I don't want to know that our police force is... Uh... Okay. okay. Combined with, combine with this line, plus some of the stuff we see in Greatest Attorney, Takumi, travel to London at some point so you can maybe bask on the culture. Well, I mean, also, well, to <laughs> be fair, I'd say he knows just as much about London as Hino does. Well, oh yeah, he, he should go there too. Well, <laughs> Tio, well, well, Tio, the thing is, the Met isn't my local police force. So. Oh, here we go. That statue was supposed to have been moved by witchcraft, wasn't it? Also, Jova, uh, you can't really talk about London considering I know a lot of states in America have rides at the top of very tall buildings for some fucking reason. Oh yeah, but oh yeah, oh yeah, Strata Park in Las Vegas. That's fun. Yeah, but there's no such thing as witchcraft here in London. Yeah. I don't know about that. Here we go. Sure. That's right. How could you explain that, Inspector? Yeah, let's plug up that plot hole, shall we? Look, I'm off duty, okay? Come on now! This is a little crazy. <laughs> Listen, you lot, how many times do I need to say it? I have no intention of divulging that kind of sensitive information. No, I... no, no, no. This is a plot hole that needs plugging. Don't you made the girls sad. You made the girls sad. Ew, I suppose just a little hint wouldn't be out of order. But this is the last time, you hear me? Wow, the police like are easily manipulative, huh? This is, the, this is the last time, I swear on me mum. Now, anyone who's clear this game already knows that magic isn't the real deal. Much to my chagrin, but yes. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to move past that, carry on. Exactly. 
Well, truth is, that stone bloke over there is in fact a robotic bloke created with the very latest ultra advanced technology. Yep, it was <laughs> a robot. Not that sounds like advanced technology. That sounds like a toy for that like get your robotic bloke at, at, at your local store. Robotic. A spell, yes, please. Uh, yes. Do I need to explain to you what robotic means? Granted, I guess she spent the better. She spent yeah, the yeah. better part of her life stuck in Labyrinthia thinking she's a medieval true. girl, so I guess true, she true, might true, not true. be as quick on the stuff. Well, Labyrinth made this research and made this thing. That statue is a prototype that came about through their research. And as for why it was- kind of like Pearl here. Hmm. But what's a prototype like that doing here in this specific garden? Like how convenient. Well, it seems Labyrinth were rich enough to buy out that part of the park. Okay, so the explanation is that technically Espella's dad owns this park. So, Carmen, it just so happened to have the most unlock of all and just landed in a section of the town that was owned by the Labyrinth Corporation. Okay, given That's Dark... There's a good reason for that, Mr. Oh? When that upstart detective took a spell and fled Labyrinthia, they needed some way of grabbing his car and lobbing into a tree. See, there you go, Taylor. Like, uh, we're about to explain that. As planned. Right on cue, Taylor, as always. Sure. That's so improbable, it's ridiculous! Yeah, I'm good for you, so It's more ridiculous Look. than Turnabout Big Top or Ballad of the Turnabout! Look, it's a typical press once we eliminate the... <laughs> Whatever. Funny that you should say that. Labyrinth's corporate slogan is making the impossible probable improbable. Oh, probable, improbable. This is my life now, I see. <laughs> my condolences. We, we live to make the impossible improbable. That is our focus. So. This is not a double negative. Not quite. If I, if I may interject, why exactly is that star that robot? Picking up tourists' cars and throwing them into that tree. For the walls? I guess. Uh, why not investigate that yourself, Layton? Do I have to spell it out or anything for you? Yes! Yes, you're the detective. Doesn't a lot. Well, apparently the president of Labralum is no longer in need of magic. So he's donated the statue to the people of London. And again, so basically... uh, they did not use that for military purpose. <laughs> Sorry, we don't want a robotic bloke that throws me, cars. It's boring. No do you contract mind for you. if I ask you something? <laughs> what is it? You've been telling us since the start that you have no intention of divulging any information. Oh, Phoenix is finding a contradiction in this kit. Huh? But now it kind of feels like you've told us everything. Hmm. I mean, why make a big deal about divulging things if you're just gonna tell us anyway? Phoenix, have you ever told you the concept of not explaining the joke? Hmm, hold on. Uh, um, what? Do you have any idea what you've just said? Eh? <laughs> you okay, my dude? Huh? What's going on here, Layden? Don't you lot oh, look understand at me. the whole fierce alternative hierarchy going on between Layton and me? Oh god. Go, go, go play the original trilogy to remind yourself of that. Authoritative hierarchy? I always have to say something like, Keep your nose out of police affairs, Layton. Oh god, he knows. I'm aware of my archetype, okay? Even though everyone already knows from the start, which of us is the more talented? <laughs> um, my dude, uh... Um, right, I guess. Layton, what have you done to this guy's ego? To be downright honest, I'd be more than happy to tell Layton everything I know. But I just can't do that now, can I? Aww, he really does care for you, Layton. 
cute. No, that would be too simple. I've got to stand firm under the steely gaze of all the players and put on an air of superiority. Superiority, eh? Yes. That's my sad fate as Leighton's wife. Right! Leighton's rival! Oh. No kidding. Well, sounds like that's a weight off your shoulders, Inspector. Huh. This reminds me of how Gumshoe saw himself as Mia's rival. It's good to vent a little, once in a while. I mean, this is a special episode after all. You remember that, players? Inspector, you didn't think about things so much. Aww. Don't think about it. It's certainly not something worth worrying about. Hmm. Don't worry, everything will be fine. It's just Leighton. In truth, I have never once considered you to be my rival. Oh! Um. No, he means that like he considers him a, a, a friend. Yeah, but how do you think Chalmy's gonna take it? Well, I mean, you know, in Pokemon you can be both rivals and friends. What the... Devil is that supposed to mean? So, Emotional what damage. Are you, what are you getting at, Leighton? <laughs> Pick your words carefully, Leighton. My dear Inspector Chilby, it simply means that I see you not as a rival, but rather as a friend. Oh. Why do you think I keep inviting you out to the pub? As a friend, you say? Well, yes, that's... Th that's just what I was getting at. Fire! I, I, it's not like I like you or anything, Leighton. Is it me, or has anyone else noticed those long, awkward pauses between Inspectors Ch Inspector Chemley's answers? Another crack. You've interrupted Boy. the emotional music, Maya. The Ace Attorney characters are on a roll dissecting this. Emotional music stuff. Well, remember, Jova, the S attorney, like you yourself said, the S attorney characters, it's not every day that the S attorney characters get a chance to just freely break the four, poke at the fourth wall like this. This is so. part of why I do love these DLC episodes, and that it is some of the best crossover material in the game, getting to see them interact more with other aspects of the cast, uh, too. Normally, of course, that kind of free flowing information only comes from Constable Barton. But... Speaking of which, yeah, we're easy. Constable Barton, you say? Yes. Why? You may say that one day he might even become the chief of police. Hmm. We'll get to that game. He's the one who gives too much away. Meaning I have to say something like, Oi, shut it, Barton. I'll do the talking. Play Lost Future or put those box if you want to come out. But he isn't around today, which is why I felt the need to pause. Hence all the uncomfortable silences before I answered. You know, you know, between your answer and the last Spectre music playing, I believe you're not telling me the truth. <laughs> don't you mention Constable Barton is rather conspicuous by his absence this evening. Maybe he was the real culprit. Um, speaking of being absent... Where'd Luke go? What about Luke? We haven't seen him since <laughs> since he left us and went on ahead. I mean, I, I mean, I have played this DLC before. And it was pretty logical. I, I've played the DLC before. Hey, that's right, Luke. Hey, Luke. I remember well, technically. Jason, Jason, I remember, guys. Jason. Technically, this is our second time doing this whole Press run as Google. well. Tell me he's been abducted by a witch. Not after all we've been through. Remember, Joe, I always go off the assumption that Dibs just forget things. No, 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 no. I don't know. No, that's the thing. It's Dibs who remembered and Shuri and Teal that forgot this time. Yeah, I forgot all about this meta madness or whatever. I can assure you, he's quite all right. What do you mean, Mr. Layton? He's in he my hat. He was chucked into <laughs> that statue earlier. 
If you're concerned about Luke's whereabouts, then I have something that, I'm, that may be able to offer some clarity. Oh, please don't tell me he's been dead all along. <laughs> Luke was never here. Luke has been found dead in Miami. Huh? Does that mean what I think it means? Yes, Maya, you see dead people. Literally. I... I um... Say. You knew that. Wait, what? Uh, if you want to know where, where, if you want to know where Luke is, solve this God, puzzle. I, I, you know that he's sounds, in the car. You know that sounds a bit like a ransom. I can with the puzzles. It would appear that before Luke went on the head, he left us a message. If you are reading this message, then I'm already dead. You have to save my family, Orphanstein Bison. If we can solve this puzzle, we'll no doubt gain an important clue as to his current whereabouts. Talk quick, we're off to America! Puzzle 72. Chatty Parrots. A flock of parrots has a message to convey. Each different parrot has a word they just love to get across, but unfortunately they're all speaking at once. This means their message is getting a bit scrambled. Try and work out which parrot is saying what and see if you can decipher the message. Just make sure you're listening to the right parrot. So yeah, it's essentially a bout of deduction puzzle where you have to suss out what the message is based off of what each bird is saying. Touch input answer and select the correct order of words. And arrange them into a proper sentence. So, what is the message? Dark afternoon. Loves his tea! Leighton loves his dark tea! Don't. <gasps> you don't love your tea? No, I love tea, it's not dark. <sighs> Is it too black and too strong for you? Yes. Pity. Hey, hey it, it, it makes your... Hey, hey, adding milk to it also gives you another challenge to make the tea as perfect as possible. Which milk is correct? You know, I really would have loved to have gotten to see a tea slash coffee making session between Leighton and Godo. Me personally, I'm 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 partial to the semi-skimmed milk myself. Uh, what about you, Shui? Partial to the what? Sorry. What kind of milk? I'm more semi-skimmed myself. What about you? Um, that's the green one, right? Let's give this yeah. answer a try. Same. Oh. Your milk bottles for skimmed are green over there too. I do say so myself. I yeah, mean, like, milk bottles are color coded depending yeah, on what type. Yeah, I don't know how it goes specifically in each country. For example, in Mindrova, the 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 bottom top part uh, is actually labeled uh, with that kind of coloring. Uh. So Leighton... yeah, because I because I can't read them, I tend to go by just color codes. So so Leighton loves his afternoon tea is supposed to be some type of clue. Way to state the obvious, Luke. Like Especially even after a... all the team that we just had. I know, right? Yes, we all know Mr. Layton loves his tea. I'm drinking tea right now. Wait, let's spell the Why are you looking at these kneecaps? Oh, but he's specific. Oh, revelation. <laughs> ho, ho, indeed. It would seem there was no clue to be had after all. So that puzzle was pointless, Professor. Yeah, what a brain. It wasn't pointless, I just wanted to tell you how much I love tea. Of course. Where in the blizzard has button got to anyway? Okay. Puzzles don't need to have an important rhyme or reason for them to happen in this universe. True. I could sworn he was here when that youngster arrived. Youngster? What youngster? Oh, so Luke did come to this park after all? Apparently so, Isabella. Apparently so. Do you want me to ask him for a description? And guys, remember what he said? <laughs> <laughs> he fell in the Thames. Oh no. There's something I want to show you all, but... I've got to jolly well get it ready first. Governors, oh. yeah, sure, or something like that. Why? Don't, please. <laughs> don't you, don't you Every see? Every Brit in the vicinity is cringing at Maya. 
To me, <sighs> that something sounds like it can only be referring to one thing. Also, is he actually in the car? Of his yeah, he's actually in the car. <laughs> Remind me, what was it that you said a moment ago, Inspector? Something about that attraction being popular amongst your colleagues at Scotland Yard. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, I remember saying that, all right. But what are you suggesting, Leighton? <laughs> and how come I didn't hear a crash? Uh, do you think the something he wanted to show us and this attraction could be the same thing? Captain, no splash. Uh, I, you mean Luke and Custable Parton? Oh no, what shall we do? Whatever shall we do? Eh, just leave him there, he'll be fine. Wait, <laughs> that's your assistant! And your best yeah. friend! Actually, Apprentice. Well, Luke, are you in there? Why would they let a kid onto this thing? I'm pretty sure Luke cannot even reach the pedals. Like you need the you need a box to actually push the pedals. I'm in this part. Oh. I think I hear something coming from the top of the tree. It's a monkey. A monkey. Monkey! Monkey! Thanks. Professor... Remember, it's, it's like Don Paolo... Goals, dude. Remember, it's like Don... Remember, it's like Don Paolo say, said in Lost Future, make, being nimble doesn't make you first, it makes you a monkey. So... <laughs> How are we supposed to get down from here? Oh... Uh, well, at least it seems like Luke is okay. Thank goodness. No thanks All's to the well government. Well. <laughs> God forbid whatever injuries he may have suffered. What about Barton? Barton, Barton uh... Dies. I guess... Shoot, it was Barton what? in the back seat. What, what, what did I see Barton again after this game? <laughs> uh, remember, remember, devs, this game takes place before Lost Future, so we know that Barton makes it out alive. Well, hold on, hold on. But this epilogue probably takes place after Lost Future, so... Remember well, like, like, you, like you yourself said, Joe, but there is a little gap that can potentially work. For yeah, not, both franchises. Not to, mention, not to mention, Barton does show up in a future game. Yeah, that does that too. So. Oh, right, yeah. Alright, <laughs> see you for the third episode of the Epilogue DLC thingy. See, see you then. See ya.